Hello, YouTube family. How is everybody doing today? Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm reading from my Bible. I'm reading Revelation 20, 11 through 15. Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated in on it. Earth and sky fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. And I saw the, de the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. The sea, the sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them. And each person was judged according to the to what he had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Okay. The devotional. The, the justice of divine judgment. Every person will face God on judgment day. Whenever the topic comes up, I am usually asked something like, what about people who live in remote areas who will never hear about Jesus? The concerned question, questioner is really wondering how could a loving Lord send an ignorant person to hell? In other words, how can it be fair to condemn those who have never heard the gospel? To understand how God judges, we should recognize two truths about him. First, he is not limited. While whole people groups still have no scripture in their language, God always reaches individuals whose hearts are open to knowing him. Men like Abraham and Moses had no scriptures, and yet the Lord spoke to them. Second, God reveals himself to all people, whether or not they have access to the Bible. As we saw yesterday, he not only demonstrates his power and attributes through creation, he also programs our conscience to understand the basic distinctions between right and wrong. For those who are blessed to hear the gospel at some point, Jesus Christ is the greatest revelation of God in their life. When people stand before the Father, he will judge them on three criteria. The amount of truth which each has been exposed, how many opportunities there were to accept the truth and share it with others, and what was done with those opportunities. The believer's responsibility then is to reach as many as possible with the gospel so that no one need ask what about those who have never heard of Jesus. Mm. Right. You can read Second uh, Chronicles 29 through 31. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope it helped you out. Uh, please like and subscribe and share and share this video so we can get the word out. Um, God bless you all and I'll see you again. Bye.